Hello, my name is Mike. I'm the owner of MB IoT Network Solutions. Today we will talk about the Unified Dream Machine Pro. After we have logged in in our Dream Machine, we click on Network, which will lead us to an overview screen where we can see our Dream Machine. We can see the real-time download and upload bandwidth. We can see how many clients are currently connected, including the type of OS these clients have. And we can see our Wi-Fi access points. When we click on device, we go to all connected Unify devices. You will see here that one access point is pending adoption and we will adopt this into our network. The status has now changed to adopting and will later change to provisioning. Once the access point is provisioned, it will get an IP and then we have uh, the possibility to change the settings on this access point. Provisioning can take a few seconds and now it's connected. So we, we click on it and then we see all the information and under config we can give um, this access point alias to make it easier for us to know what it is. I name it Wi-Fi Garage, I save it. It writes now the data to the device and is provisioning the device again. Provisioning now is completed so we can update the firmware on the device to the latest one. We click confirm and now we see we can follow the status and we see the status is changed from update uh, from connected to updating and download. Let's start creating a VLAN. We click on network again. We go to settings. We go to networks and we click on add new network. We give it the network a name. Let's say VLAN cameras since I have a few Wi-Fi cameras. We click on advanced, we give the VLAN an ID, let's say 10. We don't need to fill the domain name. We auto scale our own network. Now we give the VLAN an IP address, which is in our case 192.168.10.1-24 as you want. And we keep everything else in the same. We save and we have successfully created our first VLAN. Since these cameras I have are Wi-Fi cameras, I want to add this as a Wi-Fi network. So we enter the SSID, just the cams. We give it a password. and we select the network VLAN cameras. There is nothing really on the advanced side, it's both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz at all APs. And I'm making sure that multicast enhancement is in since I have a few devices who needs multicasting. Everything else stays the same. You have multiple options here to create a Wi-Fi network for your customers, for example, or a guest network, which we will do in a different video.